Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada. I'm Don Culver, and I'll be your host. And today, I want to talk about something that most of us have experienced in our lives, either in the past or maybe going on right now today. That would be resentments. That's a very strong emotion that can burn like a bed of hot coals for a very long time and erupt into an inferno in a second at mere mention of someone's name. You know what really pisses me off the most about resentments? It allows someone to live in my head for free until the time I'm able to resolve it for myself and let it go. They may not even know or care that I'm royally upset with them over something they said or did to offend me. Not, matter of fact, to perhaps end the friendship or relationship. So let's take a look at this ugly old thing called resentment and see what we've got here. Dictionary says the definition of resentment is bitter disappointment experienced as a result of unfair treatment and goes on to say, those who experience resentment may also have feelings of annoyance and shame and might also harbor a desire for revenge. Oh no. Well, let's take a deeper dive and see what we come up with. Okay, here's an interesting question. What's the difference between anger and resentment? Answer, the difference between anger and resentment stems from the way we come to feel these emotions. Anger and resentment are emotions that often go together. Anger refers to a strong feeling of displeasure. Resentment, on the other hand, is a feeling of bitterness that the individual experiences. So, what does resentment look like in a relationship? Resentment in a relationship comes from one of you feeling unappreciated or taken advantage of. Somewhere along the way, you felt undervalued or unrecognized. Most things that make us feel resentful started out as small annoyances. Better to bring them up early in the relationship to avoid creating a resentment. Now let's look at some of the signs of resentment in a relationship. One, continual or recurring feelings of a strong emotion such as anger when thinking about a specific interaction or experience. Yeah, two, inability to stop thinking about the event that triggered the strong emotions. Yes, three, feelings of regret. Yeah, four, feelings of fear or avoidance of conflict. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, there's some feelings we can relate to here, right? Hmm, maybe it is a good time to bring them up. Yeah, we don't want any more uh, resentments, right? What do you think? Well, here's some tips for dealing with resentments in your relationships. One, acknowledge your resentment to yourself. Two, forgiveness. Offer forgiveness to the wrongdoer. Three, think loving thoughts for the person you resent and pray for them. It's not easy in the beginning, but be consistent. It'll get easier. It'll reduce resentment and bring you some peace. And four, create a gratitude list. Read it each morning and each evening and when you go to bed. And here's a great saying that pretty much hits the nail on the head on resentment. Resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. Sometimes resentments can be so strong you wish the other person in fact would die. As always, I strongly suggest you go online. There's a ton of great information on resentment there. Or if you're in a relationship and suspect you're being lied or to or cheated on, there's lots of info online on how to catch that scoundrel. Well, that's all I've got. So until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.